Can you get pregnant without having a period? While you can get pregnant without having a period, it's not likely. In fact, if you're not getting your periods, this is a good reason to see your gynecologist. There are some normal, and some not so normal, reasons this can occur such as breastfeeding, medications, being underweight, birth control, and more. The key is to find out why your periods have been absent and what you can do about it. Read on to learn more about amenorrhea, or the lack of a period, including why you may not be having regular menstrual cycles and what can be done about it, especially if you want to get pregnant. Your period and getting pregnant. Your period is the most obvious sign that your body's reproductive system is at least trying to operate. It marks the end of one menstrual cycle. The female reproductive system is complex, but here is a quick and simple breakdown of what happens every month, if you're getting your periods. At the start of your monthly cycle, specific hormones tell your ovaries to start developing an egg. The egg, or oocyte, is contained inside a follicle. This follicle is like a tiny bubble. It contains fluid, nutrients, and the immature egg. For the first half of your cycle, about 12 to 14 days, the hormones stimulate the follicle and egg to grow. Eventually, the egg reaches maturity. Halfway through your cycle, at about day 14, though this can vary, the follicle bursts open, and the egg is released from the ovary. This is called ovulation. The egg only lives for 12 to 24 hours. For the second half of your cycle, days 15 to 25, approximately, after ovulation, the hormone progesterone triggers the lining of your uterus to prepare for a fertilized egg, or embryo. The lining of the uterus is called the endometrium. During this time, endometrium will build up, becoming thicker and changing its physiological structure to be just right for an embryo. What happens next depends on whether you have have had sexual intercourse within five days of ovulation. If you have, there may be sperm waiting in the reproductive system. Sperm can survive in the female reproductive system for up to five days. Sexual intercourse on the actual day of ovulation, and even the day after, can also lead to conception. If a sperm cell fertilizes the egg, you will become pregnant. If you conceive, an embryo will implant itself into the uterine lining between 7 and 10 days after ovulation. This will trigger different hormones to prepare the body to nurture a pregnancy. If you didn't conceive, the hormone progesterone will begin to drop. Lowering levels of progesterone will eventually signal the endometrium to break down and expel itself. This is your period. As the endometrium is expelled, your body starts releasing hormones to trigger the next month's ovulation, assuming you're having regular cycles. Your period marks the ending of one cycle. If you get your period, it is likely, but not certain, that you ovulated within the past two weeks. Ovulation is required to get pregnant. If you're getting your periods regularly, you are most likely ovulating regularly.